guy here? Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man. Remember that time a couple years back we got hammered off party liquor, spread eagle, and I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh... Vaguely. Well, bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! Herc, I really don't have time for this. But, dude, you made a promise. Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man shit, man. Come on, get this stupid gal. Herc, look, can whatever you need wait until tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I can get you here in the jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? <laughs> what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six pack on you, go grab it now. Herc! What the hell is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever you're doing, stop! Fuck this! Fine, the situation is uh, rather dire. But just head through the doors, man. I'll explain everything in a minute. Whoa, whoa, what the? Systems operating at what is 5%. This place, Herc? What am I doing here? Look, man, okay, there ain't always a logical explanation of these things. Sometimes you just find yourself like in a space station with little to no context or backstory. You just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So, less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, man, dude, I am so happy to see you, too. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man. An alien invasion, amigo. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It's not gonna be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth. It's gonna be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about. You remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. Now, we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to this beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? by finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving, though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kirk? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? But you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? I mean, look at me. If anyone's a victim here, it's me, the Herkster. Now, I don't want any part of this. I just want to go back to my family. No can do, amigo. 
We use that last bit of juice to get you up here. Besides, if you don't power up Ant's terminals, you won't have a family to go back to. That's it, man. That's the energy core. Bring it back and put it inside the terminal. So you brought me all the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Well, don't say it like that, man. You take all the pizzazzy out of it. Control center restored. It worked, see? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro, Nick. Uh... Oh. Hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. It just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. I know it just feels like space jizz or something, but this stuff is magic. Harvest is straight from the aliens. It makes all sorts of shit out here. When you're done, man, take some of your space jizz over that 3D print machine over there, and I'll show you a cool trick. Come on, man. Everyone likes magic. What? You see how that works, man? Space jizz equals firearms. Incredible. Yes. And the more my systems are restored, the more tools I can provide to obliterate any and all life forms who stand in our way. Uh, what do you mean, all life forms? Oh, you'll see when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world, because here's a partnership. Now come on, grab my head, dude. We got work to do. Man, this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go kablooey, man. Turning them on will help restore my functionality and help you on your journey. Oh shit, what was that? Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know? Wait, 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 man. Stay off that dirt. Space crab, man. Shoot it. Shoot it, please. Don't drop me, man. I'm defenseless. <laughs> cores unless we power the antenna fuck me i gotta climb towers now look man some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in montana for which i apologize okay i thought my days of climbing shit was over after i left Kyrat, but here we are man I totally forgot to mention those space craps. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen Tremors? These space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way. I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me that they're going to use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy cores so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. Antenna restored. Functionality increased. Excellent, Nick. 
Thank you for your assistance. You may now consult your map to locate other energy cores in this area. Let's go find them, man! Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell's transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Ann. Oh, man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man. I'm staying positive. Disengaging door lock. Please wait. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Man, I'm just not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad body. Done and done. Here and now, another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful booty. Unhappy, you will comply. Transference is the future. Okay, just like Anne said. We need to find the space jets I was using. Can't get to the transfer center without me. Watch your step, man, and remember, the sand is bad. Wait! Where's my junk? Nick! Nick! Where's my junk? Nick! You are lucky you've never had to go through this, man. Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize it's your peckerless pelvis. Come on, man. A little sympathy. We gotta find the rest of me, Nick. From my temples to my taint to my toes, man. All of me, okay? And then Anne can turn me into a real boy again. Herc, what you're saying is impossible. No way, Jose. You shoot a big enough load of that space jizz in the Ant 3D printer and anything is possible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be... perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train for this one, Ant. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity. The pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dumb. Listen, man, I get it. You're afraid if I become a robot, I'll try to kill you, but I promise I won't. I'm gonna be a good robot, like RTD2, but with a machine gun. Approaching transference center. Oh, man. I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes, I'm going to be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's going to be sweet, man. It's going to be sweet. Transference center restored. You can now use the transference chamber. The two of you working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Tad Bros for life! Put me in, dude! Put me in! That's her! That's her! That is the spacecraft what stole my province, man! I know! I'd recognize that ugly face anywhere! You're the reason my wiener's rolling around the sand somewhere looking like a gigantic breaded chicken cutlet! Yes! Oh my goodness! You did it, man! You did it! You avenged me! And my wiener! That's brotherly love, man. Now put me in for real, and, and don't forget to take my head. We'll need it to complete the awkward human puzzle I've become. Channel now! Don't mess up my goatee. Machine. 
Oh my god, I need some theme music. against and this sexy delicious rock hard body was built to last all kinds of physical and verbal abuse we're linked up man, so you can just tell me where to go and i'll follow man i won't even argue like ever unless you say something about monkeys and if we find ourselves in a pickle and shit gets real intense you just use me man i'll draw these suckers away with my jaw dropping dance moves and such now, I know you're impressed with how impressive I've become, but don't let how impressive I am distract you from the fact that we gotta give our human compadres the hero that they deserve. We need to find more energy cores, man. I think there's another antenna nearby, so let's go. Herc, just how the hell did you get mixed up in all this? Man, that's not important. What is important is that you understand how much danger we're all in because I didn't, okay? I fucked up. I, I, I didn't really realize. I tried to impress Anne by taking care of this all myself and where to get me? Got my damn body snatched and sprinkled all over damn Mars. It's probably my fault for telling her that I was Earth's greatest champion. I see that now, but come on, man. I was, just, I was trying to get something. So all I'm trying to tell you, Nick, is that you can't be a dummy about this, okay? You can't be thinking you're some new hot kid on the block. You gotta stay humble, man. Stay focused. You gotta be smart, man, like old Herky. Do you hear yourself? I'm stuck doing this because you're not smart. You're actually really, really dumb, Herc. I was dumb, Nick. I was dumb. Past tense. And for like a very short period of time, we're talking 17 seconds max. And that's way less time than most people spend being dumb, which is a scientific fact. Which means that it is scientifically impossible for me to do anything dumb for like a long, long time, man. Like statistically, that's a fact. Right? 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 Yeah. Approaching antenna. All right, man. Same deal as last time. Get to the top and power that terminal. Hey, this looks kind of fun. It looks kind of deadly to me. Oh, just embrace it, man. See, there's a chance to test yourself and to test those space jets. Come on, man. Beware the stabilizer cores. Touching them will cause severe harm to any organic matter. Sucks for you, buddy, that you're made out of all that organicness. Too bad you don't have a sweet killer robot outfit like I do. Transference is the future. Robots never age, never decay, never rot. Robots are forever. Do you desire transference, Nick Rye? No, uh, no. It's okay, I'm good. Arachnid pulp acquired. So what exactly is going to happen once Ant's power is restored? As you restore power to my terminals, you will in turn help me regain control of my network. My robot army will power back on and assist you in fending off the arachnid horde. Wait, robot army? Once I regain full control, I will direct my robots to the launcher, where they will travel to Earth and intercept the arachnid invasion. Jesus. I know, man. It's gonna be awesome. Her. That sounds terrifying. Whoa, okay, hang on, man. I got all kinds of shit flashing up in my eyes here. What the hell is this? I've uploaded the locations of your body parts to your map. Antenna C1 restored. Energy core locations updated. Sweet! I'm picking up a reading now. Near that energy core, let's check it out, man. No stone left unturned, know what I mean? I gotta say, Ann, 
I'm touched. Because I know you're not super on board with the idea of me being human again. I have had enough discussions with you, Herc, to know that appealing to you with logic and reason is pointless. Oh, man. That is really nice of you to say. You really get me. Herc, shouldn't we be focusing on saving the world? Nick Rye is correct. We are. I just want to take a peek, okay? Sweet! I'm picking up a reading now. Near that energy core. Let's check it out, man. No stone left unturned, know what I mean? I gotta say, Ann, I'm touched. Because I know you're not super on board with the idea of me being human again. I have had enough discussions with you, Herc, to know that appealing to you with logic and reason is pointless. Oh, man. That is really nice of you to say. You really get me. Herc, shouldn't we be focusing on saving the world? Nick Rye is correct. We are. I just want to take a peek, okay? Approaching mining station C1. Use caution. I am detecting a strong arachnid presence. A queen has laid her eggs here. Queen? Eggs? Remember what I said, amigo? Queen's gonna have that energy core with her, and we need to get it back. Killing her offspring will draw the queen out. Offspring? You mean, you mean babies, right? I don't want to kill babies. These ain't babies, okay? They're tiny little monsters, man. This is 100% guilt-free baby killing, man, like baby carrots or veal. Besides, the only way we can draw the queen out and get the energy core. this other thing exposing it to the arachnids will render them hostile toward one another so i throw this thing out and the space crabs fight each other and not me fighting over a woman's heart maybe we ain't so different after all herc these things want to eat every person on earth the universe works in mysterious ways nicholas terminal room lock disengaged you may now enter Station C1 restored. Systems now operating at 25%. Well done. My defenses have grown, but we are still far from our goal. Man, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You can, and you will, Nick. There will be danger at every turn, but I will be there to guide you. Hello, and me. I'm now capable of updating your map with all antenna locations. Restoring them should be your first course of action when entering a new area. Go now, Nick. Free me from these wretched creatures. I believe in you. I'm right here! You will save the Earth. Oh, good idea! Okay, whatever! I'll just be the accessory, the ultimate killing machine, an accessory! Super good idea there. You heard the lady. Let's go, Mr. Soul Hero of Earth, who don't need my help whatsoever. Of course not. The world's our oyster, man. You just lead the way, and I guess I'll just 
follow along like a little toady helper boy. Herc, would you grow up? Sorry, man. I'm just normally okay with being ignored by overly hot women. Just not when it's because of my best friend. Approaching Bovine Research Center. Is research you it's difficult to say. My research is incomplete. No, I mean, you don't need the research. I'm telling you. Your opinion is noted. No, no, it's not an opinion. Just drop it. Now, why has someone got to say something every time I'm trying to enlighten folks? It's the right one. Very cool. Just be sure it's not my wiener, because they're about the same size. Approaching antenna C2. Oh, shit. Space bats. Don't get zapped, okay? You're going to have to time your jumps, Migo. Stay away from them shocky things, man! Wait till the electric coils disappear! Look out, man! Those things are on the fritz! Nicholas, I've decided. I will be the godfather to your child. Uh, thanks, her. Uh, you know we didn't ask you to be, right? I know, I know. I just figured a situation like this has created an even tighter bond in our already historic friendship. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a lot of responsibility. We already... Who's more responsible than me? Who is more responsible than me? Seriously? With great power comes great responsibility. You have seen my calf. They look like goddamn Christmas hams. I'm a very powerful man, which in turn makes me very responsible, Nicholas. That's not what that saying means. Come on, man. I look like a big old teddy bear. Them children love me. All right. Sure, buddy. I'll think about it. Thank you, Nicholas. All I ask is that, that my proposal is reviewed. Antenna C2 restored. Energy core locations updated. You know, I was just thinking, and one of the thoughts that occurred to me was, if I could see underground, these little bastards wouldn't stand a chance. You see, I'd just be up here playing whack-a-mole with these big old hammers here. Just a thought for version 2.0, and that's uh, that's my, my fearless feedback, if you will, my two cents. Like, your robots need super x-ray vision, and night vision, and heat signature vision, infrared vision, television, long division, panavision, all the visions, man. And not just to see you underground now that I think about it, uh, other stuff too. I'm, I'm not, 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 not gonna say what, but, uh, yeah, just, just make it so I can see through things, please. Parker. Oh, so that's who Ann was talking about. No, she told me that, that she had another before me, but I didn't really want to hear about him. I, I'm, I'm the jealous type, so... Anyways, he was like a, a servant who helped her put together this whole place or something. I don't know. He sounded like a douchebag to me. Well, what happened to him? Who knows, man? And who gives a shit? I mean, who cares what Ann's ex-man is up to? I mean, really. Guy was a fucking egghead, okay? What do you think he's gonna be doing? Nothing cool, I can tell you that much. But if you're so c my speedo senses is tangling, man, that means we're definitely close to one of my body parts. Warning, Queen Arachnid nearby. Holy shamoly, Queenie, over there, buddy. Approaching antenna B2. Oh, shit. Good luck with that one, dude. I do not know how you're gonna get up there. It will require a certain proficiency with the gravity belt. You said it, Anne. 
Oh my goodness, she is so smart and sexy. Uh, how can you know that? Man, I just know these things, okay? I've heard enough phone operators in my life that I can just tell when the looks match the voice. I just wish Anne's name was Gina. Boy, I got such a thing for Gina. <laughs> Gina Davis and Earth Girls are easy. Gina Gershon and Showgirls are my all-time fave. Gina Carano, man, whooping ass all up and down that octagon. But I'll tell you, man, it's important. It's important to have a sexy name, but I have learned that I can't have everything I want in a woman. And Anne really is special, so I'm telling you, what I'm, what I'm feeling for her, it might be... It might be the L word. You don't believe in love. Hey, someday I might. Now leaving Antenna. Warning, you will need an energy core. My speedo senses is tingling, man. That means we're definitely close to one of my body parts. One of your legs. Is it still two-toned? My calves are still nice and tan, but my thighs are still real pasty like Elmer's glue. Whoa, hang on, pump the brakes. That gassy thing is not friendly, man. Oh man, these fumes, they fuck with your brain. Yeah, but I, I've been down that road before and I learned my lesson and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Just saying. You've been warned. You got balls, Nicholas! I used to, too. No, 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 oh, hell no! What? What is it, man? You having one of them work dreams? Man, I hate those! You spend that whole night dreaming you're at work, and then you wake up and you gotta go to work, man! It's the fucking worst! Worse? I'm in John Seed's bunker! Subjective. This shit is not to be fucked with. I mean, unless you got something to prove. Dang, maybe that's what these things is. The alien trials. I'm just kidding, man. Who fucking knows? The important thing is, you scored an energy core, man. Let's put that to good use. Can we get real, Nicholas? 
This whole, this whole lack of a body sitch has got me thinking about some heavy stuff, amigo. Like, what is my purpose, man? What is the... Warning. Queen Arachnid ahead. Watch out for the queen! If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. We're gonna get some proper tunes, man. The garden forever, man. These guys were my first roadie gig back in the 90s. Required tool, which was odd because back then everybody wore cardigan. The band broke up during that tour, and I learned a valuable lesson: never invite your mom backstage. My mom ran a train on those guys, and they got all depressed and whatnot. She said she made them feel used and objectified. Some people just aren't cut out for rock and roll, I guess. These guys party hard, man, like too hard. You know what they used to do? They used to blow Blanco up each other's butthole before shows. The singer said he did it to protect his voice, man, but I still couldn't figure out why the drummer was doing it that way. Shit, she got me! I can't shoot! Pretty cool though, man. Even though they did, they did leave me stranded in Colorado at a whorehouse with an unpaid tab. Approaching antenna B2. Oh shit! Good luck with that one, dude. I do not know how you're gonna get up there. It will require a certain proficiency with the gravity belt. You said it, Ann. Oh my goodness, she is so smart and sexy. Uh, how can you know that? Man, I just know these things, okay? I've heard enough phone operators in my life that I can just tell when the looks match the voice. I just wish Anne's name was Gina. Boy, I got such a thing for Gina's. Gina Davis and Earth Girls are easy. Gina Gershon and Showgirls and my all-time fave. Gina Carano, man, whooping ass all up and down that octagon. But I'll tell you, man, it's important. It's important to have a sexy name, but I have learned that I can't have everything I want in a woman. And Anne really is special, so I'm telling you, what I'm, what I'm feeling for her, it might be... It might be the L word. You don't believe in love. Hey, someday I might. Core locations updated. I don't know what it is, man, but this Anne, she's got me feeling some kind of way. Some way I ain't never felt before. It's like a deep, deep aching in the testicles of my heart, man. I mean, this is gonna sound kind of strange, I know, but sometimes Anne reminds me of my old man. Because she's cold and has this general lack of interest for my well-being, just like he does. And it drives me wild. me out most about Mars. I don't know, Earth's impending doom? The space crabs? No, none of those. Where are all them three titty women? You know, I've been looking around for weeks, Nicholas, and I ain't seen one yet, man. Total recall, one I told a lie. Uh, you know I love you, buddy, but you ain't right. Restored. Energy core locations updated. Man, when we get back, 
back, NASA will probably ask us all about our discoveries and whatnot, so we should collect samples and shit like that. Scientists love that stuff, man. They'll be real appreciative and will probably want to be our friends and let us ride rockets and shit like that. I mean, I'll hang out with a nerd if he lets me ride his rocket. Wait, that sounded weird. My body is a wonderland. And it is around here somewhere, so keep your eyes peeled, okay? Hey, we found your upper chest. Oof, that's brutal, man. Look at them tig old man biddies. Go ahead, Nick, give him a squeeze. I won't tell Kim. My speedo senses is tangling, man. That means we're definitely close to one of my body parts. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Shit, man, thank you. I need that for classy occasions. Approaching Himalayam Research Center. You call it what you want, man. It's still space years to me. Warning. Laser security system online. Whoa! Lightsaber extravaganza, bro. Careful now. <laughs> Gotta get to the second floor, man. The old-fashioned way. That means climb. Whoa! Look in there, man. This place has more jizz in it than my tube sock. The goddamn Space Jizz Energy Conversion Lab or something, man. Look at all that goo. And sure was serious about keeping this stuff under lock and key. I told you this stuff is gold. Spacecrafts produce it, man, like bees do with honey. Only difference is this stuff's way more like jizz. You ever think maybe that's why they're so pissed off? Nick, are you... Oh, 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 oh Nick, 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 are you suggesting that spacecrafts aren't hell-bent on interplanetary annihilation and that they're just getting back at Anne because she took something that rightfully belongs to them? Um, well, is that so far-fetched? It's not far-fetched. It's just plain dumb, okay? So keep your thoughts to yourself, will you? Trying to embarrass me in front of Anne? Sure. Um, whatever, no problem. Research Center restored.
Uh, I'm in a dark place. A forest, I think. Shit, I got no gun. Can anyone hear me? Anyone? This is Mary May Fairgrave. We need help in Falls End. The situation's bad. Eden's Gate ambushed us. They've gone fucking nuts. Grabbing up people, dragging them away. People are dead. We need help. What is this? Just keep moving, man. I'm... I'm at some sort of wall. Like a gate. Looks like the spacecraft's made it to Earth after all. It ain't real, man. This thing is just fucking with your brain. in town. They need help. Space crabs are all over Falls in. I gotta get rid of them. And how are you gonna do that with no gun? I see traps. Oh, Mary May and Jerome and them must have set them up before digging in. We'll use them. Oh, hey, I got them. I saved Falls in. Maybe we can fight off the invasion. Or we can kick back have a few beers, and just let Anne do all the work. Research Center restored. Systems now operating at 50%. You must push forward quickly. The arachnids are fully aware that we are trying to stop them. Really? I mean, it doesn't look that way to me. Not at all. The arachnids' thirst for interplanetary annihilation is insatiable. Many have already begun evolving into better versions of themselves. Stronger. Faster. Listen carefully, Nick. If you don't hurry, your wife and child will be nothing but the ashes these arachnids tread upon. Whoa! God damn, that sounds... That sounds awful, man. Whew. You heard the lady, man. Fear the world's on us. Time to nut up. Terminal damaged. Repair bot deployed.
storage facility restored. Oh, yeah, way to show them. Me and this repair bot, we got to exchange numbers and just Netflix and chill like ASAP. place and there's like floating rocks and a, a huge antenna in the sky this, this doesn't make any sense some shit out, man. If I had to take a guess, that antenna represents your daughter, the Peggy's represent her future suitors, which makes the terminal her... Uh, yeah. I got it. Uh, you're gonna want to keep them away from that terminal, at least until she's in college, is all I'm saying. B1 restored. I bet you Kim misses you, huh? Yeah. I'd like to think my parents are missing me right now, but if I'm real honest with you and with myself, they probably don't even know I'm gone yet. It's like when I ran away from home at 30, man. Except this time, when I return, it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's gonna be real different. Because I'm gonna have saved the planet, man. They're gonna have to love me then. My daddy, my mom, and all of them. We'll be like a big happy family, man. We'll get together on holidays and stuff, man. Like Christmas and Canadian Thanksgiving and for real Thanksgiving, man. Boy, I get all wound up just thinking about it. My scans indicate that only a handful of queens remain. You must kill them into extinction. Look at us, man! Two kiss-stealing, death-dealing sons of gun! Woo! But don't tell my daddy I asked for help. He'll be so ashamed.
she looking? Shut up, huh? Just a question, man. Jeez. Jim! Jim, stay inside! Well, I got these sons of bitches! I won't let them hurt you! Oh, shit! There's a machine teleporting Peggy's and it won't stop! This is fucked up! You have got to destroy it, man! You're having a goddamn nightmare, okay? You gotta end it! Robot Repair Center. So much for this place. See, Nick? We really do have to make me human again, because if I die as a robot, we can't bring me back to life no more. Well, the same damn thing applies to humans, huh? Yeah, for now, but in the future, who knows? nodes require repairs. A bot has been deployed. All the repair bots! <laughs> Robot repair center restored. Nice job, man! Game ball goes to repair bot, but that was a team effort all around. I fully recognize that. Okay, on to the next one. Approaching Solar System Observatory. Preservation of this site is key. No weapons are permitted. I've extracted a laser field security system malfunctioning. Please exercise caution. You're on your own, dude. I don't fuck with lasers, man. They might ruin my tattoos. You are a robot. You don't have tattoos anymore. Bear with me spiritually. Fine. I'll do it myself. All weapons removed. Arachnid threat nearby. Please acquire the Force Gauntlets in the event you must defend yourself. Oh, sweet, man! Do they look like the NES Power Glove? Oh, I'd never take them off. Threat detected. Terminal reboot paused. Eliminate the arachnids to resume terminal reboot. Nicholas, do you remember that movie, The Wizard? Super cool flick. Starred Fred Savage, that kid that can only say California. Uh, uh, we remember the guy Lucas in it? He had long, beautiful, blonde, flowing, curly hair and dark sunglasses. You can see the reflection of your own soul in it. And he also possessed a power club, like you do. You're not helping! Well, I'm trying to tell you, if you just let me tell you about Lucas and how he had a power glove. But hey, man, if you don't want the knowledge of a power glove master on your side... Well, I don't. Well, that's on you. Oh, shit! What? What is it, man? One of those big-ass spacecraft! level faster, but I suppose you did okay.
Observatory restored. All weapons returned. Was it cool, man? Full sciencey stuff? Her. There's a hologram showing our solar system, and the Earth's got a bunch of targets on it. What you saw was the culmination of my research. Those icons represent Earth's weakest defense points, areas the arachnids will surely attack. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I see. Do I sense a doubt in you, Nick Rye? No, me? No. Good. C2 restored. Systems now operating at 75%. I am sensing an increase in stability, more functionality, and a spike in my capabilities. But I need more. You must give me more. The arachnids are one step ahead, readying their invasion. We are running out of time. Listen, I gotta say what's on my mind here. I'm just not seeing how any of this makes sense. And you don't need to. All you need to do is what I tell you to do. Man, uh, okay, Nick, she brings up a, a super good point there, okay? Anne's like a way more evolved bro -sif, okay? So she just knows things. So, so don't sweat it, and do me a favor, Nick. Stop fucking embarrassing me, okay? Autonomous robot navigation online. Robots are now free to roam the planet. They are programmed to defend you. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Nothing like a bit of backup. the body part. Looks like a big toe. Make sure that's my big toe and not my thumb. Yes, I'm one of those people whose thumbs look like big toes. Don't judge me. Approaching Robot Creation Center. Oh, this is cool, man. We get to see where Anne makes her babies. Terminal malfunction. You must deploy a repair bot. Oh, why is everything so broken, man? Blast door is defective. Find another way inside. <laughs> Puzzle, huh? Use the console to deploy a repair bot. Oh, shit. A big what, man? Who's gonna come for us, huh? Mars security? Error code 502. Unprogrammed robots deployed. Robots hostile. Aw, oh, man, I gotta learn how to buy my time. You must manually deploy a repair bot using the console. The hell do we do? Hit the console again? I mean, it can't happen twice, can it? Famous last words. Oh, man! You see? I'm gonna take you gambling, Nicholas. Whoa, never mind. Solo gambling it is. Your bad luck, dude. Protect the repair bot. Nick, watch that repair bot! Shoot the bad robots, okay? You can tell the difference, right? They're the ones that look kind of mysterious.
terminal repaired. The robot creation center can now be powered on. Robot creation center restored. And robots sure are a force to be reckoned with, dang. Yeah, well, it's pretty fucking terrifying how easily they can start attacking us. Malfunctions, Nicholas. These things happen, okay, man? Don't worry about it, okay? Anne's gonna have it all under control for the big dance. They ain't gonna hurt us. Yeah, well, color me skeptical. That son of a bitch, John Seed's ranch. It's all weird looking, though. Man, it sounds like these fumes hijack your brain compartments and pick at your emotions. You mean like how I wish to God I could have watched him die real slow? I could kill that guy a hundred times and it still wouldn't be enough. Whoa! What the? My gun just changed. Wasn't Sharky's video game all about that? New gun every five kills or something? I ain't complaining. What the hell with this guy? There you are, you sick motherfucker! Oh, what the? There's more! There's more John Seeds! Well, ho oh, ho, careful what you wish for, amigo! That's what I thought. You feel better now that your virtual reality cleaned the place out? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, then. Good boy. Come on back now. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. The glowing things, man. We gotta destroy them or we won't be able to power the terminal. Seeing all these nests, man, it reminds me of a question I always forgot to look up. Hey, Ed, how long do eggs last after their sell-by date? I do not understand your question, Herc. Please focus on your mission. Fine, whatever. She would have known the answer. Just saying. Terminal functionality minimal. Recharging in progress. a lot of sex appeal in the air and jealousy. One of my body parts must be nearby. That's what that means. Hey, found your left 
foot. Thanks, man. I need that to boot scoop. Approaching Arachnid Research Center. Warning. This center has been overrun. I am detecting a large arachnid presence and many nests. Uh, looks like these here space crabs are a little pissed off at all your experiments, and there gotta be a queen here. Let's get after it. Research Center restored. Man, this thing felt super good, like finishing first in the science fair. You finished first in the science fair? With what? You ever heard of a little something called invisible ink, motherfucker? Well, that's been done thousands of times. How'd you win with that? There was just two of us, the other guy didn't show. Look, man, first place is first place, okay? No matter which way you cut it. This one's got a teleporter I can't even use. Looks like you'll be on your own, amigo. Fuck, man. What is this place? Is that a fucking Yeti? There's a Yeti in there? Damn it, man, why do you get to have all the fun? I've been trying to meet a Yeti my whole life. Do me a favor, ask him if he likes to party. I know they do in my gut, but just ask him. I'm looking for some confirmation here. There's actually cows in here. Oh, man, pet him for me. Planet Earth testing ground. Whoa! My God! I'm in some kind of simulation here. It's like a movie set back home or something. It's a trap. thing first, all right? We're wasting valuable time, man. Okay, but don't think I'm gonna forget, Nick, because I won't. I go to grab my junk every 35 seconds, ain't nothing there. It's weird. Terminal room lock disengaged. You may now enter. Queen population eliminated. Holy shit, man, you hear that? We knocked off all the queens. I've retrieved a blueprint from the database just for you. After all, an achievement of this magnitude deserves a reward. Sweet! What do I get, in? Oh, come on, man. Bovine Research Center restored. Way to go, bro! 
I mean, I obviously can't see in there, but it sounds like you kicked a lot of ass. Chicken grenade acquired. Did you just say chicken grenade? Uh, yeah, man. When have you not wanted to combine a chicken and a grenade and bathe in the after effects of something so magical? The answer is never, Nick. Never. Nick, Kirk, you've done it. Please return to the control center. You must initiate the launch sequence. But what about my pecaroni? It's been salvaged. Oh my goodness! She found my junk! A fully functional Franken her equates in the wings, brosif! I'm gonna be reborn, man. I'm gonna be reborn! Okay, let's go, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go! And what do we do with my body parts? Initiate the launch sequence and I will take care of the rest. You got that, Nick? I got it. Feel it surging through my systems. Oh my goodness. Listen to her boy. We did it. We fucking did it. About damn time. I've waited so long for this. The power. The control. At last a return to my superior form. Uh her. I am free. And so too is my unstoppable force. A force that will devour all that is beneath me. Her? This petty masquerade can end. The time has finally come. Her! Are you hearing this? Yeah, I'm trying to, Nick, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Ann, go on. The time has finally come to what now? To kill you all. Oh, shit! Oh my god, dude! Dude, Ann's bad, Ann! Ann's gone schizo! I, I don't think any of us could have seen this coming! Okay, now go to the same with the other dead. 
too, all right? Copy, paste. The universe belongs to me. This is pointless. My own existence is pointless, lady, okay? I was born in it and molded by it, okay? There was no point in it. Destroyed, man. One left. Okay, you can do this, man. I believe in you, my man. Make me proud. There is no future for you. Only nothingness. You will follow the fate of those who came before. Those who reached too far. Aspire too great. Oh, listen to you. Oh, yes, man. Yes, we did it, man. We did it. We stopped the goddamn elevation. Oh, man. No! In your face, you suck, you bitch. What happened to her? We fucked up all your shit, Ann. We win, and you lose. Look at your stupid teleporters. Ha ha ha, destroyed. And now, I'll destroy yours. Oops, I done pissed her off. Shit, Herc. The teleporter, we gotta get back. Well, what about my body? I forget your body. I can't believe this, man. All that work for nothing. We were so close. Let's move, man. I don't want to be stuck here forever. Uh-oh. Feeble humans. You've achieved nothing. A small delay. Your kind will perish by my hand. Now, later, it makes no difference. Oh man, this is never gonna end. We gotta find a way to kill her for good. You cannot kill me, because you cannot outsmart me. I am always one step ahead. Initiating failsafe. Oh man, the hell is the failsafe? Why, it's you, Hark. You're the failsafe. Thank you. What's that sound? Wait. Oh my god. It's, it's you. What? Oh my. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to fight. You're shooting at us. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know how to process this, man. It's a bunch of you. Hold up, hold up. Anne used her to find my body parts so she can make a bunch of evil Urks as backup? Are you kidding me? This is so mean and also... Well, it, it's also it's also pretty cool. It's, it is pretty cool. But terrible to you! Come on, shoot him! Shoot myself? Are you kidding me? Shoot myself? This is straight up psychological warfare, Anne. Not cool. Oh, man, would you stop being a wood and tell her she can't manipulate you? Truth gotta hurt so much. Your resilience is driven by ignorance. Oh snap, look at that. We're wearing her down, man. Keep going. Hold the dang phone. She's got control of my real body, Nicholas. Oh, man. 
That is hella creepy. Are you sure you want to do this? I ain't never been more certain of anything in my life. But if you kill me, Kirk's body will perish. Oh man, this is this is just like those buddy cop movies where one partner's got a gun to their head and the other's got to decide whether to shoot. There's nothing to think about, Herc. It's your body or seven billion people. Ah, oh, god damn it. Hang on, let me let me at least uh, consult my moral compass about this. I mean, maybe the deaths of seven billion people wouldn't weigh that heavily on my conscience if it means I get my body back, you know? Damn it, Herc. Seven billion lives, and your sacrifice is gonna save all of them! So I'm like a robot Jesus. We well, call it what you want. The point is, you're gonna be a hero forever. Oh my goodness, Nicholas, you are right. You are so right. Man, I can, I can see it now. Herkimania running wild. There's gonna be so much partying and celebrations. People are gonna erect statues in my honor, make plushies also in my honor. I'll have my own holiday and I'll be on money. Probably start a bunch of action movies and I'll never have to pay for nothing. Oh, oh, and I'll get gifted a small chain of islands, which I'll call Herx and Caicos, and it'll be like one of them sex resorts where people walk around naked all the time. Dude, I'm just firing off one idea after another. I haven't even really begun to digest what this means. Fuck it, let's do this. I'm ready, Nick. Do it, man. Unplug her. Kirk, don't do this. I love you. And in the words of Mori Povich, that was a lie. Man, that looked a lot more final than I thought it would look. Damn. Oh, God. I, I'm sorry, Herc. I know that couldn't have been easy for you. I, I guess I broke a promise, huh? It, it was the right move, man. I mean, you taught me something today, Nicholas, and that's, and that's that being famous is more important than anything. And sometimes, in order to get there, you need to just ditch the things that's holding you back. And in this case, that was my body, which I'm now eternally separated from. No, Hurt. It's more like the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You know, a sacrifice for the greater good. Yeah, no, that wasn't my takeaway at all. I, I did it for the sex island. Yeah. And don't be offended, but you ain't invited. Only robots and smoking hot chicks who like to have sex with robots are allowed. <laughs> All right, you ready to get out of here? Yeah, dude, let's get the fuck off this planet, man. Time to go, man. Let me just set up the coordinates. Dude, do you know what this means, man? We're heroes, okay? Fucking legends, man. So after the parade and everything, I say we go get tatted up to commemorate this journey. Well, I mean, you'll get a tat, and I guess I'll get the same tat, like, spray-painted, or... Her, hit the damn button. Right, yeah, the damn button, okay. Blue Planet, the heroes are coming home. <laughs> 